Hello there, Tommy Olsson here, and this is my keyword research tutorial. This is also day 25 in my 90 day video challenge for the Wealth Thrive. And uh, the keyword tool that I use that is free to use is Google AdWords. You can use the keyword planner totally for free. You don't have to invest in any Google AdWords campaign at all. To get to the keyword tool, you just click here and choose keyword planner and then it's gonna load. It may take a while sometimes, but uh, hopefully soon it will be loading like it should. And uh, when choosing keywords, you should go for uh, keywords with low competition because those are easier to rank for than the medium or the high competition keywords. You should also do go for long tail keywords. Those are keywords that uh, contains uh, are about the uh, multiple words followed by one another. And typically, maybe those are three or five. They could be more, sometimes less, if you don't find a, a long tail keyword. That's very long, you may even go for one keyword, but that's not recommendable. But uh, you should really try to go for the long tail keywords. And some people say that it should, uh, you should choose to have them in the beginning of the subject line of your blog post. But I have actually learned something that uh, produces good results for me, and that is that uh, to put the keywords in the beginning of the subject line. To optimize this strategy is to put the keywords both at the beginning and at the end of the subject line. Your keywords should also be in your tags and categories. Categories might not be uh, really that important anymore, but I usually put them there anyway, just to be on the safe side. Uh, seems to be a bit of a struggle to load AdWords at the moment, but I hope it will be loading soon. Uh, okay. Okay, now something happens. Maybe we can start to use it. Okay, here we go. You're gonna click here, search for new keywords using a phrase, website, or category. And I'm gonna show on my blog how to put this uh, keywords up. For instance, we should choose uh, blogging for money. And then this two, we click here, get ideas. And then you get suggestions for for keywords to use. Now remember to look at the low competitive keywords uh, for best results. Here is there see the different categories of keywords and what kind of a competition they're on that method. But to change that, uh, we're gonna click on competition once. And let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, and then we'll see the high ones first. So we're going to click once more. Uh, like this. Yeah, you see the low target keyword. How to make money off of blogs seems like a good example there and there is the here is the monthly searches for that keyword so we want to choose this one how to make a money off a blog and use that on my blog uh, just to make you see and as you can see there's 880 searches for that so it's pretty popular and 
So we're gonna go to my blog. I've already opened for a new post. Post, and you should post the keywords up here. Now, no, I'm not gonna add more words than besides the keywords here, but sometimes you have a really long uh, subject line, and then you have it in the beginning or in the end or both. Uh, but preferably I would use it in the beginning but anyway here is the keywords uh, as a subject line and then I'm gonna add it to categories like this uh, like that and then I'm gonna show you some things here in a while, just put it. You can have multiple tags to the more pet tags you put in there in a different area of interest, then the more you can expose you can get of interested people. Now, anyway, what you need to be doing in uh, your blog post is to use the tags and put your keyword within those tags. Those tags are h1 h2 h3 bold the word italize the word hope i pronounce it right and underline the word and how you do that well for instance you have in visual mode now you can do it in text if you're good at html but it's easier to do it in uh, visual mode so here at most cases the blogs uh, already have uh, the title itself up here as a h1 so i normally just start with the h2 and then you have the drop down list here and you choose h2 and if you wanna and that's the one of the tags but then you are gonna have to add the a3 h uh, sorry, A3 also. That stands for heading 3. So I'm going to write something here so that you can see how it works. This blog post will be about how to make money off a blog, right? Yeah. So Then we choose it that market like this, and then you choose A3, and then you have that one. What you do, you add some more text then, and then you put, remember, to make the text sound like um, normal English, so you don't just repeat yourself like a, like a computer, but add uh, this, uh, these keywords within the text and then you're gonna do the same as I've showed you before now and you're gonna add bold italic and then underline text but another thing that you can do is that to rank your uh, post later is to, to link to the number one uh, ranking post on Google that also rank for these keywords that you have chosen and how you do that is that you go to uh, google.com and like this and it's uh, important that you put the quotation marks beside in front and after uh, your subject line. Let's see if it can open now. Uh, okay, here we go on Google and we put the Put the subject line in there and like this, hopefully. 
Yeah, there we go. But we're gonna add the quotation marks like that. Then we get the real proper uh, searches for that particular uh, keyword. Now you're gonna always choose the top ranking. Well, here is here is videos, but um, anyway, take the one that ranks the best and copy the URL. That's where you, so to say, steal in a legit way uh, their link use, so to say. So you see there, here comes the video, and you just copy this in and. What you do on your blog is that um, you put it in, in the text you write you somewhere in the post where you have added this uh, keywords how to make money off a blog. You mark that and then you like this and then you link to that video to that number one ranking page. And choose open link in a new window tab. So what I would do, and then that. And then there's another thing you can do if you have written within the same uh, subject within your own blog, and then you can, for instance, write, look at this other post I have made about how to make money of a blog. And when you write how to make money of a blog, you do the same thing. You you mark the word like this and you link to your other blog post and that will help backlinks are very valuable when it comes to blogging and seo so if you have written something about a similar topic like that then you link to that blog post as well uh, now i hope you have enjoyed this video i hope it haven't been too confusing but if you enjoy this this uh, value and information you might want to check out below this video in the description field because uh today i give away a free lead generating system it's free for now not sure how long it will be but it will make it will help you a lot to build your list and make it more easy for you to make money online thank you for watching this video my name is Tommy Olson and have a great day bye bye